Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So I did go ahead and buy one additional content just to start this off. I bought the, uh, the Duelist Kingdom one. Uh, so we have all these campaigns, and then there's also add-ons for each of the campaigns except for Arc V. And so we're going to be starting off with Duelist Kingdom. And Arena of Lost Souls, I believe, is like my bonus one. Champion vs. Creator, I believe that's one of the bonus ones I got. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, I guess there's going to be some different... We'll, we'll just see. We'll just see how this goes. Um, so do I really have to do the reading? Loading Yu-Gi-Oh! Histories. The story of yu gi Moto begins at Domino High School, where Duel, Monster, Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yugi was the best duelist around, and his friend Joey wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. So our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of duel monsters to Joey as their friends Taya and Tristan watch. Hey Joey, Earth to Joey, it's your turn. Um, oh, isn't he cute when he's thinking? This is like actually ripped from the ripped from the show. Just they, pro they really could have just shown the show for this. Uh, and the, the dialogue gets cut off right there. Hey Tristan, Yugi here is teaching me how to play Duel Monsters. Drooling Monsters? Duel Monsters, you nimrod. They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like an expert. Okay, Yugi, it's time to duel. So I'm guessing you just get some preset decks here. Um, I'm not sure how you... I don't know, like, you know, you saw that Champion vs. Creator, which is Kaiba vs. Pegasus. I don't really know, do I get to pick who I play as? Because I don't play as Kaiba. I don't really want to play with tunes. Okay, wow, what a stirring intro. I-N-F-N-N-N-A, Shuriken Spin a Tail. Greetings, Duelist. I am IN for am a part of the Virtual Game Simulator. I have been programmed to teach you proper dueling. Oh, I already know how to do all this. So let's get started and walk you through the basics. In this scenario, you'll be taking on the role as legendary Yugi Moto, facing off against the not quite as legendary Joe Wheeler. Okay, I don't, I don't need tutorial. Don't, don't. Just let me duel. Okay. Yes, I know how to summon a card. What? So one, oh, I think it wants me to set it. Okay. Uh, all monsters you control gain during your battle phase. Okay. Actually, what is it wanting me to do? What? Fine, I'll set. What the heck? Fine, I'll end my turn. Okay. Well, the one thing that I don't know how to do well in this, um, I'm de I'm decent at synchro summoning, below average at Xyz summoning, and don't know jack diddly squat might have noticed that Joey attacked you and what yes I know that um but oh my god why won't it let me dude what is it doing what does it want me to do select your banner of cur I did okay okay whatever pink trap cards okay I know how I know how this works now let's get ready for an attack. Why do I? Why can't I set another one of these? Really? You have to. Now let's summon Ninken Dog. All right, our attack is all set up. Let's switch the battle phase to attack phase. Sweet mother, dude. The fact that I'm getting taught how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I need to be taught like the crap that I am not used to, like pendulum summoning. I still really don't get Pendulum Summoning. B to end the phase. This is not a very good tutorial either. This really doesn't teach a new player how to do anything. Let's clean this clock. Um, this turn we will and up until now. Okay. Yes, I know how to Tribute. Yes, tribute summon. Yes. I don't really it's good. why did it want me to sacrifice him? That makes no logical sense. 
And set. And okay. I use rush recklessly. Oh, I guess this is why, because then you use Call of the Haunted. Okay, it really doesn't matter. Why would I... It doesn't make... It doesn't make a difference. What can I chain? Okay, good. I'll use Rush Recklessly. But... I don't know why it restrict... Why was it like, oh, okay, let's sacrifice a stronger monster. Is this victory here? Is this really it? That's a GG, I think. That's GG. Okay. <laughs> what a horrible tutorial. Let me be honest, that's just not a good tutorial. What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Whoa, you stink at this game, Joey. You did fine, Joey. I just have better cards. My grandpa owns a, a game shop, and I get all the all my best cards from him. Your own game shop? What, do, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us his super rare card he's got. Little did they know that someone was listening in on their conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add to his collection. Actually, he was looking to... He was actually looking to tear it up, not for his collection. What is that? So we got a new duelist avatar, or a new deck avatar. We got... I don't know if that new campaign duel unlocked. Okay. New deck unlocked. Monster Raider deck. And we unlocked a signature card. Axe Raider. Horned Imp. New card. DD Warrior. That's a lot of victory duel points. I think. It starts you with a thousand. So fit, almost 1500 is not bad. Okay. Not bad. Okay. So now... The next, uh, next one is Heart of the Card, so hopefully I can just actually duel, start dueling now. That afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Rare card? You mean my special card? Hmm. You know, I would do the actual voices because I've seen this stupid... I've seen the first season like 30 times, it feels like, in my life since it came out in like 1999, but I suck at doing voice impressions, so that's why I'm not doing it. Uh, please, please? Haha, <laughs> how can I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. It's not even the correct, that's not the correct art. Let me, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. You used the word, uh, actually the, the Legend of Blue Eyes version, the second version, that's the crappy version. This one's better than that. But the first one, the first one, the first one's the best. Ready? Here it is. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So rare. So powerful. I never let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There are only four of them in all the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found the card he was looking for. Name your price for that, Blue Eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile, old fool. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's store. The team was disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with Blue Eyes White Dragon. The next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor, defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa. That's, this isn't even like the correct avatar for Kaiba. There are some inaccuracies with this game. It should be the younger looking Kaiba in the blue blazer. How's the old man feeling, hmm? Kaiba, you sleaze. What have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all, with each of us putting up our most valuable card as the prize, but I guess playing against a champion like myself was just too much stimulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at the sweet prize I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's Blue Eyes White Dragon and ripped it in half. Grandpa's most treasured card. Blue Eyes White Dragon is a rare and powerful card, and this one will never be used against me. My Blue Eyes White Dragon, my treasure... Grandpa, hold on. How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this. Huh, Grandpa? 
I built this deck, I put my soul in these cards, and I taught you everything I know. Yuki, take my cards and teach Kuiper respect for the heart of the cards. I'm going to be sick of reading by the time I get done with this. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. Are you ready to play, Runt? Playtime is over, Kaiba. Huh? Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Kaiba, prepare yourself, because it's time to duel. Story deck user. Oh. Oh. Ooh. You can use my... I, I have a sucky deck, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I don't really know what extra story. Oh, okay. Well, this is we're we're into the nitty gritty already. Um, rock, son of a bitch. Okay, so you know what? I like this. We're not gonna get the cheat. We're not gonna get a super cheesy just reenactment of all these duels. I actually have to win. I actually have to win. It's just not gonna give me some cheesy hand. All right, we got one piece of Exodia. Um. Okay, pot of greed. Give me two more cards. Okay, not a bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and set Mystical Elf. And call it... Nope, I'm gonna set Dark Hole because I'm not sure... I don't want to have Morphing Jar or something like that destroy my hand. Okay, Lajin. Okay, we're still good because... Skull Elf can tank that. Okay, so Swords are Revealing Light. I'm gonna go ahead and set Sangan. And I'm gonna set Swords of Revealing Light. And then my turn. Could summon Dark Magician next turn, but I don't... You know what? He can summon Blue Eyes, I just thought of that. Okay, okay, Sangan's dead. But I can add a piece of Exodia to my hand. Where's the head of Exodia? At least if I get into a pinch, I can actually play the head of Exodia. Okay, so two pieces. I don't even know why I'm trying to win by getting Exodia. This is just a horrible idea. Um, so Raigeki. Oh, Raigeki. I think I might go Raigeki here. Yeah, let's go Raigeki. Raigeki 2 OP. Uh, I'm not going to switch Mystical Elf to attack. I'm just going to do 14. Okay. And the Kai one of the Kaiba staples negate attack. Okay. This is kind of fun because this isn't... I thought that I was sitting here for a second the way the story mode goes. It, I thought it was going to be just a cheesy reenactment, which would have been fine. I still would have enjoyed it, but this is much better that I have to win. And that's... Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Heart of the Underdog, during your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it, draw one more card. Okay, we're going to play Heart of the Underdog. Um, um I'm going to bring him out. I'm going to bring Dark Magician out. I probably should have played Karibo and then tried to get Dark Magician out afterwards, but... We got this. Let's just take... Let's just take... What is that? Trap Master? Oh, no. Son of a... No. Okay, good. Oh, sick! Dude, that's sick! So, the signature monsters... I wonder if it's just Dark Magician, Neos... Would it be Dark Magician, Neos, Stardust Dragon... Uh, Utopia, and I don't know. I haven't seen, like, any of Arc V, so I don't even know what his signature monster is. But I wonder if it's just that, or I wonder if Kaiba drops his blue eyes on my ass if he's gonna... If he's gonna have... If he's gonna... If I'm gonna get wrecked. Am I gonna get wrecked by blue eyes? Active... Yeah, activate the effect of Heart of the Underdog. Beautiful. Another... Okay. Sandan. I can draw... An, I can get another piece of Exodia out here. I'm just gonna attack with Dark Magician. Ancient Lamp. Okay, that's a lot of damage. This is really cool, like, I like this animation. It's a pretty cool one. It's... I don't know, this game is good, I, I, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! I always have, but, um... Oh, I did damage to myself, I just realized that's what that did to me. But I have three pieces of Exodia now. 
Can I use Heart of the Underdog there? No. I thought it's just on your... Yeah, it's just your normal draw phase. Okay. Um, but what was I gonna say? Um... No, I really like Yu-Gi-Oh! I wish there were more games, video games, made of it. Uh, because the best ones are all on PlayStation 2. I guess Falsebound Kingdom... Actually, really, the Yu-Gi-Oh! games on consoles aren't... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I need one piece of Exodia! I just need one piece of Exodia! Oh my gosh, I win. I win. I win. It's Sangan time. <laughs> I can't believe this actually happened. I could Dark Hole, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna win, and Shadow Spell, that's... horrible. I wanna kill Sangan, I don't really... Okay, well, you know what, Sangan, why don't you go ahead and attack? Okay, well, that's just an even trade. Would you kill Sangan? Kill Sangan, Kaiba. Come on, Kaiba, kill Sangan. Yeah, good Kaiba. Good Kaiba. GG, Kaiba. <laughs> I can't believe I got Exodia. You... <laughs> I won by the way it wanted- oh my gosh, that's an achievement. Won a duel by having all of his audio cards in your hand. A hundred gamer score. You play only for power, Kaiba. This is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the game, there is nothing you can't do. The results of the duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man gets the news of Yugi's victory. Hmm, it seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. And I must learn more about this Yugi Moto. Alright, so new campaign duel unlocked, the ultimate great moth. Okay, heart of the cards. I don't know what that reverse duel unlock Ooh! Ooh, so I can play it as Kaiba. That's pretty sick. Uh the duelist avatar or deck avatars, Kaiba. New deck, legendary blue eyes. Or I guess it's not the new deck, but it's it's a new deck recipe. Um, Grandpa Moto, new booster pack unlock, signature card, oh my gosh, I got blue eyes right now. We got Pot of Greed, okay. We got Rude Kaiser, and we got some dual points. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, let's continue. So now we're on to Ultimate Great Moth, but let's do the reverse duel here. If there's reverse duels, dude, that's sick. But hold on, let me back out all the way out. Um, let me see... It's still back. Card Shop. Okay, so we can get a Grandpa Moto pack. Let's get a couple... Oh gosh, there are... Okay, so there's the different... Alright, so let's go ahead and get one of these. I'm not sure what we can even get in this pack. Uh, Mystic Tomato, not bad. That's not horrible, but not a great pack. Um, I think I'll spend down... I'll, I'll buy like five of these packs. Shallow Grave. That's not horrible. It's not great. It's not like one of the better cards to summon monsters from a graveyard, but... So, Unity. Skill Drain. Okay, so contra Contract with Exodia. Okay, this is the final pack I'm doing. I don't know how many I did, but I'm not really seeing anything that I like in this. Rivalry of the Warlord. Sort of deep-seated is not horrible. There are some decent cards out of those, but we'll see. Battle pack, play using a temporary deck made from battle packs. That's kind of that'll be fun once you unlock that. I don't know how you unlock that. Okay, so let's do the reverse Kaiba and Yugi. So let's use story. We'll just be using the story decks throughout here. We'll be. I'll build a deck, and maybe at the end of this, we'll do some different like dueling challenges and whatnot. But this is cool, and I've lost both of those. Is Yugi gonna go first? No, Yugi's going second. I'm going first this time. Alright. Let's do this. Give me a blue- oh, blue eyes. Oh god, this is a bad hand though. I don't like this hand. Um, I'm gonna set Wall of Illusion. I'm gonna set him. I gotta get this- I gotta get blue eyes out. But Judge Man will do here early for some nice damage. Oh no, he's got Heart of the- Oh my- Oh god, two Heart of the Underdogs? G-G-G. 
GG <laughs> GG GG Stop the fence Mystical Elf Wouldn't have been a match anyway Yeah, get off the field, Wall of Illusion GG Yugi, that's pretty much it Unless you can get Exodia This duel is over before it even started I got that, I dropped that, that hot blue eyes. Oh, Karibo, son of a... You and your damn Karibo. Oh, no. Oh, no, the double heart of the underdog. He's got Dark Magician, that's kind of a... Can he get him on the field, though? Can we have blue eyes versus Dark Magician? Oh, my gosh, dude. They're chaining the heart of the underdogs. They're chaining... Oh my gosh, dude. This is horrible, dude. He's gonna have a million cards in his hand. He's he's gonna literally be able to... Okay, okay, good. No, son of a bitch. I'm gonna lose, I think. Because now I have no cards. I have to draw, like, so, like um... Battle Ox, something decent. Something decent. Or Monster Reborn. Okay, negate attack. That doesn't really help me. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble early here. I thought it was GG, but then he's... Oh my gosh, dude. He just discarded Dark Magician. What is going on? Um, I'm gonna take the damage this turn. No, let's take the damage. Come, I need some... Oh my gosh, what is this? Add one level five or higher normal monster. This doesn't help at all. But I'm adding a blue eyes. This is not good. I'm gonna lose here pretty quickly. And of course, heart of the underdog, dude. Heart of the underdog, too OP, man. Chaining heart of the underdogs is OP. Dude. Dude, Heart of the Underdog, too OP, man. Unless he... No, my thing is, it doesn't even matter if he draws himself dead, because he'll obviously have the pieces of Exodia. Okay, I have to activate this this turn. Actually, I didn't have to activate it, but I'm gonna activate it. And he puts him in the defense mode. Dude, Okay, he had to discard cards, but I don't think he's just... Okay, we got another Ancient Rule, so... Yay, come back to the field, Blue Eyes. Second Blue Eyes. I have a feeling he's got Raigeki over there somewhere. Oh, yes! Yes, we get to see Blue Eyes. Nice! So I, I'm guessing it's just main character signature monsters. So that's pretty sweet. I'm happy Blue Eyes did get an animation there. Sweet! Dude, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. He's gonna draw Exodia out. He's gotta be close. Look at all the cards he has drawn. And... Where's the L? There's another... Ex there's this piece of Exodia. There's the piece of Exodia. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose because of Exodia. I'm gonna get screwed by Exodia just like I screwed him. Kaiba just gets screwed over by Exodia in this. Okay, and Raigeki. And Raigeki. Oh my gosh, dude. Can I just restart? No. I guess I'll just lose and then we'll do it again. I'm gonna lose. I got 100 life points. Oh, okay. Another... Yay, another Heart of the Underdog. Well, Aqua Medor. Yeah, go defense mode. <gasps> I don't have any- I can't do anything! It's Heart of the Underdog is too OP, dude. Heart of the Underdog. Man, if only I could have had this Heart of the Underdog 3 on the field. Oh, yay! Exodia! Yay! Consolation duel points. Okay. Come here! I'm gonna beat you with Kaiba's deck. You OP douchebag with your right. He's got Raigeki, he's got Dark Hole. I did not realize how OP he was until 
I want to go second. You can go first. You can get your heart of the underdog BS out there on your first turn. Whatever. I literally... I don't know what I can do. I don't know what cards... These, uh, okay, this is a better hand, actually. I like this hand better than what I had. Um... Okay, so... Okay, select one spell card on the field and destroy it. If the selected card is a, is set, pick up and see. It's a spell card destroy if it's a trap, return it to... Okay. I'm just gonna set some traps here. Okay. And I'm gonna summon Battle Ox. Alright, Battle Ox, let's attack. And... Of course, Spellbinding Circle. Okay, well, guess I get to end my turn. Oh, okay, we're, we're just going Raigeki right off the bat. You know, it's just... Oh, and he's sacrificing. He's bringing out Summon Skull. And... What spell? Do, shadow spell? That doesn't really help me. Shadow spell doesn't really help me. And he's drawing Exodia. Yeah, 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 stupid Exodia. I'm just gonna take the- t I'm just gonna take this from someone's call. Yeah, just hit me, you big douchebag. Okay, this is annoying. I need to, like, get this crap off. Gift of the Mystical Elf. This is not helpful. I'm gonna be out of ca I'm out of cards, dude. None of these help me. Like, none of these help me <laughs> right now. Zero of them. Oh my gosh, it really wants me to activate the effect of a card. I don't want to activate the effect. But see, there were other options for this, but they're really annoying options. Like, I have to click X, like, when I want to use the card. And we got Horn Nymph. You know what, um... Okay, no, I don't want to do this then. I didn't... Okay, well, I guess I'm not activating Negate Attack this turn. I was gonna say I was gonna activate Negate Attack, but that's not happening. No, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Stop! Well, and literally have drawn nothing. Kaiba, your deck is kind of some ass, dude. What is this? This is horrible. You know what? Whatever. We're going to activate Stupid Shadow Spell and use it on Summon Skull. Even though I'm pretty sure he's probably got Dark Magician in his hand. And I'm going to get raped. What card does it want me to activate now? Gift of the Mystical Elf. Okay, now I will activate Gift of the Mystical Elf, because it'll give me 900 life points back. Dude, this is actually hard to win as Kaiba. This Yuki's deck is kinda OP. And Kaiba has a lot of magic cards. I can't summon Rude Kaiser, dude! This is horrible. I'm gonna lose because I can't... I'm gonna lose because I can't summon anything. Kaiba's deck is just awful. Dude, dude, we are so screwed. There's nothing I can do. He doesn't even have any of the Heart of the Underdog BS. But no, Kaiba is... This is just war Oh, there's Heart of the Underdog. Look at that. It's just another sh Well, I lost, so that's great. We lost again. Like, I don't even know how I could have played this any better as Kaiba. It's really hard to win as Kaiba. With his deck. Like, really hard to win as Kaiba. Yay, we got Sangan in a consolation prize. Come on, I gotta do this! Kaiba, your deck is not very good. <sighs> Chronomalies. 
Okay, well, I'm going second. Or I'm going first, I think. Yeah, yep, I'm going first. So that Yugi can Raigeki my ass. Or black hole my blue eyes when I summon it. Yeah, grappler! Yeah. Okay, and my turn. I guess I can summon Rood Kaiser if I absolutely have to, but he's sort of revealing lighting my ass, so I guess maybe I am not going to. I guess I could summon Rood I guess I'm summoning Rood Kaiser. I have no monsters again. I once again just takes one Raigeki from him and oh, it's GG. Because Kaiba doesn't have any cards, and oh, there's the Dark Hole. And there's the Monster Reborn. And he's bringing back Grappler for some reason. I'm not sure why he brought back Grappler. We, neither of us have a monster in our hand. This is stupid. And as soon as I, oh, oh, Battle Ox. Okay, I'll take Battle Ox. I want Shadow Spell in case he summons a better monster. Uh, if he summons, like, Dark Magician... I would still lose, but it wouldn't be bad. I would lose bad. I would only get 100 points of damage, and I could de-spell, I guess. I could have de-spelled, but I don't think that's what I need to worry about, de-spelling. I need to de-spell. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Get my set negate attack. Okay, the stupid prompts, dude, are annoying. Okay, so there's Swords of Revealing Light gone. I still only have Battle Ox, and I believe Dark Magician is coming for my ass next turn. Yeah, just summon him. I know you got him. Yep, yep, yep. And there he is. Yeah, suck on my Shadow Spell, even though I'm still gonna be weaker than you. Okay, so I drew La Jin, who still really doesn't help me that much. But I guess La Jin just, I guess, sacrificed herself. And Battle Ox. There we go. Oh, of course, he's got Karibo in his hand. I don't know. Has he used Raigeki yet this turn? I don't think he has. Which is horrible. Horrible, dude. 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 Dude, I got the blue eyes, but... There's probably a mirror force waiting for me. No, not yet. I'll chain it once I get the eyes up there. Yes, now I want this. I want my life points back. Also, I want it to stop being annoying. Oh, god, dude. Adalox. Okay. Blue eyes. Nope. Spellbinding circle. Of course. How long does... Okay, well, I guess Blue Eyes is just 100% useless now. Great! Great. Great. So that's what Twelve Winding Circle does. It's not like in other things where it's like, oh, this damage and this and this and that and all of this and we can't draw monsters, he's not drawing one, I don't have one. What if Battle Ox just wins this for, it? Wins this for me because he can't draw a monster and neither can I? Can I draw a monster? Thank you. Ryukashin. Ryukashin is a piece of crap, but hey, 1,000 damage, I'll take it. Hey, one more turn, so Yugi, just don't draw anything here and I'll win. Just don't do it. Don't draw anything. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't draw Raigeki. No Raigeki. Okay. That doesn't help me. I don't know why I'm like, oh, cool, it will look good. Because that's not really that good. Okay. Um, I think I want to attack because... Oh god, it's Sangan. It's an Exodia piece to his hand. Oh, really? 
Really? I get beat by Exodia again, dude. Dude. Okay, we're trying this one more time in this episode. If I can't do it, then I just can't do it. I don't know how I could be doing this any better. There's literally, I don't see, like, anything I could have done better so far. Like, I don't, I don't know. Okay, get to choose. I want to go first. Yeah! Freaking Soggy! Yeah! Summoning Soggy. Setting a gate attack. Okay. Soggy the goat. Soggy the dark goat. Oh, you can't destroy Soggy. Uh, I don't want to because he can't destroy Soggy. Oh, great. I wonder what card he has face down. Oh, Pot of Greed. Thank you. Something I wasn't getting with Kaiba. Tatsumi Giant. That's not you for right now, because... I think I'm gonna leave Sagi in defense. 500 damage is not... Oh, yay! Spellbinding Circle! Yay! Make my Legend useless. Thank you gonna say useful, I was like, nope, that's not the correct term. Oh, okay, okay, drop the summon skull, okay. Yeah, negate attack. Negate attack, biatch! Oh, good, heart of the underdog. Great. Great. And I drew ancient rules, which I can't even use. Okay. Okay, that all seems good. Throw Hitatsumi down. Heart of the underdog, of course. Okay, first I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. He's probably gonna summon another monster, but I don't really think it's a big deal. Also, Shadow spell. That was a waste. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I... What am I smoking, dude? The hell am I smoking? That was stupid. Oh. Oh, just tactical errors, man. Tactical freaking errors. I'm gonna negate attack. We're keeping everybody alive. Tactical errors, dude. I need, like, another pot of greed because, oh, oh. It's time to summon Blue Eyes and then watch him get wrecked. Yay. Well, I got Blue Eyes out on the field, then he'll get wrecked up coming here. Alright. Yeah, that's about all I can do. Yay, come on, Yugi. Use your right Geki or Dark Hole. I know you have it in your hand. I know it's in there. Oh my gosh. Or you're, or just draw Exodia, you know. Just draw Exodia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where's right Geki? Where's right Geki? I know you have it in your hand. Where is it? Come on. Play right Geki. Play Raigeki, you little son of a bitch. I know it's in there. I know it's in your hand. Just play the Raigeki and get this over with. Oh, another Heart of the Underdog. Awesome. Ancient Lamp. During your main phase, you can special summon from your hand. This card must be face up on the field to activate and re to resolve this effect. This card is being attacked by an opponent's monster and was face down at the start of the turn. You can target one monster your opponent controls except the attacking monster. Huh. Well. Guess it's time to flip some of the tots at me. And we're just gonna do this for now. I have no cards. He has five. One or two of which I know are at least... Exodia pieces, I think, and somehow he doesn't have Raigeki or Dark Hole yet, which just blows my mind. But they're coming. It's coming. 
next turn, probably, I'm gonna get Raigeki or Darkhold. Please draw something that... Just draw something crap. Nope. Nope. It's a normal monster. It's a normal monster. Oh, God. No. 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 No, dude. Dude, there are too many normal monsters in that deck. Like, this is just r retarded, dude. This is just retarded, man. I'm gonna lose to either my Geki Dark Hole combo, or I'm going to lose to. Oh, look at this. Or I'm gonna lose to. I'm gonna lose to Exodia because there's no way he doesn't have Exodia. There is no way he does not have Exodia. Dude. I don't know if this is, literally, I don't think this is possible to win as Yuki, or as Kaiba. He doesn't have Raigeki? He doesn't have Raigeki. He has Swords of Revealing Light. I need, I need, I didn't draw it. Well, we're gonna lose, because I don't have anything... Um, he's probably gonna draw... Yep, he's gonna win right here. Unless one of those Exodia pieces are on the, is on the bottom of his deck, I'm gonna lose here. Doesn't matter how many life points I give myself. Yep, yep, yep. He drew fucking Exodia again. I don't think I can beat him, dude. Like, I don't... There's... I don't see, like, a... A saying, there's not a reason that I'm losing this other than the fact that his cards are OP. That shit is OP. You know what? We're just gonna call it an episode. I'll come back to that maybe. Maybe I'll just play through the whole thing and we'll come back and rage over the reverse duels and like after I'm done. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.